And yet, although my physical condition was such a trial to you, yes. you did not regard it with contempt. You did not regard it with contempt? You see, that, my, that was his physical condition. But did not regard it with contempt. He was weak. You see, it's easy to undermine a person when you look at them the way they are weak, the way they look, their physical condition. Let's go. You did not regard it with contempt yes. or scorn and loathe and reject me. Yes. But you received me as an angel of God. You received me as an angel of God. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Do you know the angel can come like anybody? Do you know that? Let's go. But you received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus himself. Even as Christ Jesus himself. Even as Christ Jesus himself. Don't you want to find yourself visiting people when you are sleeping at home? Not dreaming, but physically entering their houses. I met with this principal of a school the other time. He said, the day I was dying, you came and you prayed at a school. He relayed this the story and and I was listening to him. I was not there. I was not there. I was at home. You know, I didn't understand what was happening with me. I didn't understand what was happening with me. The other time a lady saw me coming out of the wall. Coming to talk me out of the wall. Not, not get the door open and out of the wall. I didn't know what was happening with me. I thought these people were telling stories. But now when more stories came, more stories came, more stories came more stories then that's when I got the scriptures. Jesus says I was a stranger. Jesus want to be a stranger in your form. Jesus wants to be a stranger in your form. Jesus wants to be a stranger in your form. He wants to be a stranger. In many separate ways he appears to be. First Corinthians 15. He he in many separate ways. In more than at the same time. He in many separate ways. It's difficult to understand, no? But don't worry, you'll understand what I mean when you go home. Don't call the police. <laughs> Don't scream. Remember this time. Remember this teaching. Huh? Huh? Don't take out a gun and say somebody's in the house. Huh? Huh? Don't hit me with anything. Try. But it will go. <laughs> Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ? It's the thing of having the form. You must get it. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You choose the form of godliness. You get it? Choose to be weak. But then you get it? Choose to be weak. Become like them. Because they don't have a form of godliness. You become like them. But you are able to win as much as you can. Because they discover an angel. They discover Christ. Let's go. What has become of that blessed enjoyment 
yes. and satisfaction. What has become of that blessed enjoyment and satisfaction? Yes. Uh -huh. And self-congratulation uh -huh. that once was yours. That once was yours. It used to, used to have something but on the way it left. Are we going somewhere? Let's go. The self-congratulation mm -hmm. that was once yours yes. in what I taught you. In what I taught you? In what I? I taught you, yes. Uh -huh. And in your regard for me. In, in your regard for me. You see, he taught them and now they must focus on one thing. The way they regard him. Somebody who can teach you. But what is the manner in which you regard him? Now, it, it, it is not only about the message that you bring. It's all about how people regard you. It's about how. So many rejected Christ. Many rejected angels. Many ministers are suffering. Because God gave you a man of God and you rejected him. You failed to discover. It's not about the message that we bring. It's all about the way they regard us. Yes. 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 Jesus wants to take a form of any one of you. Of any one of you. Uh, do you understand the scriptures? Do you do you understand this? It's, it's not just reading. It's all about hearing God speaking to us. You can hear the message. But the way you regard that man, you may say hallelujah. And say it was a powerful message. But the way you regarded him, may cause it to fail. No angel. No Christ. Nathaniel will believe because I said I saw you under the What did Nathaniel say? Nathaniel Unless if I see him. Do we love Jesus Christ? Let's go. For I bear you witness that you would have torn out your own eyes. You have torn, you have torn out your own eyes. Uh-huh. And have given them to me. And have given them to me. Uh -huh. To replace mine. To replace mine. If that were possible. If that were possible. Let's go. Have I then become your enemy by telling the truth to you? Have I become your enemy by telling the truth to you? you can teach people the way they regard you. They get the messages. But at the end, you are enemies. It's just like okay, people come if they're barren. You pray for them. They get children. Later, because of corruption, you say you are using another spirit. Yes, the child receive it another spirit. Bring that child back. Bring that child back. Give me back those children. Because now you see a bad spirit. He's using a snake. The water snake. Bring that snake back. Bring those children back. Because it's amazing. The way they regard you. Many miss Christ. Do you understand the scripture people? Do you understand this chapter? It's not only about when Paul preaches to them. It's all about again when the way they regard him. The way they regard him. Because if you don't regard him the right way, you miss the angel. You miss the Christ. It means when they came, Christ was complete in his weaknesses. Because he came by reason of sickness. He was sick, he was weak. When he's weak, 
God's strength is made perfect God shows himself perfect Let's go. Have I then become your enemy by telling the truth to you? Have I become your enemy by telling the truth to you? Let's go. And dealing sincerely with you. And dealing sincerely with you? When you deal with the person sincerely, you rebuke, you don't Let's go. These men, the Judaizing teachers, yes. are zealously trying to dazzle you. So they want to win you over. Let's go. Paying court to you. Uh -huh. Making much of you. But their purpose is not honorable or worthy or for any good. Yes, their purpose is not <inaudible> honorable or worthy for any good. They preach. But for no purpose. Me, was it the motive? My trauma thing. Let's go. What they want to do is to isolate you from us who oppose them. What they want to do is to isolate you. Seba watangu si dira kyo le bela choko kakala le rona. Who oppose them? Kore rona kari kemo kata no nyabo. You see many people today. Bunti kumpien. It's not gathering people into the kingdom of God. It's to isolate people from others. That's what is happening. Many they want to isolate people from others. The main aim is not to reveal the Christ. It's not to reveal the angel. Why? It's because it's difficult to go through sicknesses. To go through weaknesses. Where God makes himself perfect in us. We don't want to find ourselves isolated from people from others. That's why we never stop people from going to other men of God. Let's go. What they want to do is to isolate you from us. Yes. Who oppose them? Who oppose them? Yes. Uh -huh. So that they may win you over to their side. So that they will win you over to their side. Uh -huh. And get you to court their favor. Let's go. It is always a fine thing, of course. Yes. To be zealously sought. Uh -huh. After, as you are, as you are yes. provided that it is for a good purpose. Provided when it's for a good purpose. Let's go. And done by reason of purity of the heart and life. It must be done by reason of purity of heart. And, and not just when I'm present with you. God can hear when we preach, people. If it's purity of heart and life, God can hear us. God supports it if we do it with purity of heart and life. God says, be pure as I'm pure. God can hear when we speak. God can hear if I want to win you over to be my party or I want, um, I want you to be his That's why we, we don't talk to people to support us. It is the anointing that brings people. We don't talk to people and say someone is doing this to me, someone no. uh -uh. we become quiet. Do we love Jesus Christ? Let's go. My little children, for whom I'm again suffering no. birth pangs. Here's a problem. My little children. Banaka. You discovered Christ before. You discovered an angel in me. But now I'm suffering again. Instead of Christ be formed in you. You discovered him in me. You discovered an angel in me. Instead of him being formed in you. 
Nothing is happening now. Ga go sepa se diragalang tsanong. Let's go. A re tswele pele. My little children for whom I am again suffering birth pangs. Yes. Until Christ is completely and permanently formed within you. Yes. Let Christ be formed within you. Now let people discover him in you. Let them discover Christ in you. But because you rejected me because another teaching. Can't go out in a tutu e sele. With a teaching which isolated you. Today go khao khantseng le rona. Now Christ is not formed. Ja non Christ ga bo pega. You see Christ has to be formed in us. Christ o tsona ke go bopega mo go rona. Do you love Jesus Christ? Ara marata Jesus Christ. Anything that you go through. Se ngwe le se ngwe se itemogelang sone. God is busy. Mo dimo o tsweletse wa dira mo teng ga ga. Make sure that the Christ must be formed. Ane te fatsa gore Christ wa bopega mo teng ga ga. Let's go. Are tsole pe. Would that I were with you now. Yes. And could coax you vocally. Yes. For I'm fearful and perplexed about you. I'm fearful and perplexed about you. Gonna get let's tsaba le tlalelo ka halona. Uh-huh. Tell me you who are bent on being under the law. Yes. Will you listen to what the law really says? Will you listen to what the law really says? Are there those who came to preach the law? Who came to preach the law? Baba tle ngo rara mo lao. Isolated those people. Ba From Paul. You see what happened that you see what happened. Any teaching that we teach. As long as it isolates people from from others. Then it's not from God. Any man of God who preaches. And is teaching isolates people from others. It's not from God. This is the scripture. Say ke le kwalo. If it isolates people from others. Le ba bangwe. It's not from God. Ga itse ko modimo. We are the only people. Ke rona ba tsho ba. Ga gona e fa ke le tsona le. Ga gona ke re ke tsona The main thing when we speak. Se se kholo ke gore ga re bua. The body of Christ must be edified. Me le wa Christ o khothale. It must profit the body. It tsole mmele mosola. Not part of the body. It's in carolo ya mmele. But the whole body. Mmele othe. Do you love Jesus Christ? Ara marata Jesus Christ. Okay, just two to Colossians 1 start from verse 24. Ara bi se ba Colossi 1 tla. E bana ya bone. Even now I rejoice in the midst of my sufferings on your behalf. Huh? I rejoice in the midst of my sufferings on your behalf. Ke tumela mo dipogong tse ke di bogelang tsanong. I rejoice in the midst of my sufferings on your behalf. Ke tumela dipogong tse ke di bonang bo emong jalona. Why does he rejoice in this? Goreng a itumela se. Why is he rejoicing in this? Goreng a itumela o se. Because Christ has to be complete. Ka tla gore Christ o tsona ke go tladi o moteng ga ga. Let's go. A re tsole pele. And in my own person. Yes. I'm making up whatever is still lacking. Yes, I'm making up whatever is still lacking. What is lacking? Kidiresa tsotle tse di tshwantse di tshwantse di tlhaela. What is lacking? Keng se se tlhaela. Let's go. And remains to be completed on our part. Eh. Of Christ afflictions. Of Christ afflictions. Di pita gana tsa ga Christ. So Christ to be complete. Gore Christ a tladiwe mo go rona. We have to go through something. Re tsa ni go itemogela sengwe. Repeat there. Okay, can you use King James? Repeat with King James there. I want everybody to listen to that. Arabi se ka phetolo le ya King James. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? Yes. And fill up that which is behind. Fill up that which is behind. What is that? Ke tlatsa se se leng ko morago. What is that? Ke eng se o se se tlhaela. Fill up that which is behind the afflictions of Christ. The afflictions of who? Di pita ga no tsamang. Aha. In my flesh. In my flesh so mo Christ has to be complete in my Christ o tsona go tladiwa mo e in my mo son of man mo ra motho son of man mo ra motho that you discover what me o fitelang in my flesh son of man mo na menyame mo ra motho in my flesh son of man mo na menyame mo ra motho angels are saying mo na mangele le ma a fura ga tlatlo khela o fitela mangele o fitela Christ this has to be complete se tsentse in ne se tladiwa mo go nna let's go a re tsole pe in it i became a minister in accordance with the stewardship which was entrusted to me yes for you as its object and for your benefit for your 
benefit. benefit. To make the word of God fully known among you. To make the word of God fully known among you. I want you to use NIV. Okay, put NIV. Put it to get to understand this. Ne? Go to NIV. Now I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you. It, I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you. Huh? For you? You get it? I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you. I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you. I rejoice in what I'm I'm not suffering for myself, it's for you. It's for you to benefit. Let's go. And I fill up in my flesh. Yes, and I fill up in my flesh. I fill up in my flesh. When I'm suffering, I'm busy feeling something in my flesh. What am I feeling? The Christ. Christ. Repeat there. I want everybody to get it. That's why I want us to understand this part. Because Christ has to be complete in us. Let's go. Now, I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you. Yes. And I fill up in my flesh. And I fill up in my flesh. Uh-huh. What is still lacking? What is still lacking? So here Paul realizes something is lacking. What, what is, is lacking? Is the completeness of Christ. But what I'm suffering, I'm filling up what is still lacking. Let's go. I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking. Yes. In regard to Christ's afflictions. In regard to Christ's afflictions. Let's go. For the sake of his body. For the sake of his body. Uh -huh. Which is the church. Which is the church. Uh -huh. I've become its servant. I've become its servant. By the commission God gave me to present to you. Uh -huh. The word of God in its fullness. The word of God in its fullness. The word of God in its fullness. Yes. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations. The mystery which was kept was hidden for ages and, and generations. And generations. So, the moment you get filled up with the Christ himself, remember it's through this affliction. So when you are filled up with Christ, the moment you are filled up, you are able to present the word of God fully. You are able to present the word of God for you. The moment the law is presented to people, people are isolated from others. That there's no discovery of Christ. There's no discovery of angels. Do we love Jesus Christ? If we are sons, we remain forever. If we are sons, nothing can pull us down. We remain forever. Go on. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations. Yes. But is now disclosed to the Lord's people. It's now disclosed to the Lord's people. Yes. Now the word of God is presented fully. It's disclosed to the people. Let's go. To them. God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles yes. the glorious riches of this mystery. The glorious riches of this mystery? Which is Christ in you? Which is Christ in you? Remember Galatians 4. Oh, how I travel in pains of childbirth. Until Christ is formed in you. So when he's not formed, something is lacking. Something is lacking. So let's go for the completeness of Christ in us. People must discover that. Many people cannot discover the Christ in us. Because something is lacking. Fill up, fill up yourself. Let's fill up ourselves with what is lacking. This is in conjunction with the afflictions of Christ. Because when it happens that way, people are able to discover the Christ himself. Let's go. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles yes. the glorious riches of this mystery, 
Which is Christ in you? Which is Christ in? In you. In you. It's Christ in? in Christ you. So this glorious mysteries. Make Christ in you. Remember Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2. Christ is the mystery of God. Christ is the mystery of God. So Christ, when, when Christ is from in you, the mystery of God is with you. The way they regard you, the mystery of God. So it means you, as a man, you must become a mystery. You must become a mystery. It's not all about preaching the gospel to you. It's also about the way you regard the person preaching to you. Because through him you get the mystery. If Christ is in him, you receive the mystery. Colossians 2 says Christ is the mystery of God. Let's go. He is the one we proclaim. He is the one we proclaim. Uh -huh. Admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom. Yes, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom. So that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. So that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. Let's live for Jesus. Let's live for Jesus. This is not also to isolate you for being matured. Are you going somewhere? Let's go. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy yes. Christ so powerfully works in me. Christ so powerfully works in Christ. Repeat, repeat, repeat. You understand the whole thing, eh? So there's a difference. But when you lay hands How about and when God does extraordinary miracles so Christ so powerfully worketh in me Christ working powerfully in me so it's no longer a gift working in you Christ powerfully works in you because he's now discovered in you Christ must so powerfully work in us Do you get this? I never healed people. Christ healed people. Christ I never delivered people. Christ delivered Christ people. Christ, Christ so powerfully worked Christ in you. Are we going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Christ, Christ powerfully worked in you because you filled up yourself. We the the more, that's why the more one miracle comes, comes. comes. One miracle comes. Unusual. One unusual persecution comes. One unusual criticism comes. Because Christ so powerfully working in you. Let's go. For I want you to know how great is my solicitude for you. Yes. How severe and in what struggle I'm engaged in for you. Yes. And for those believers at Laodicea and for all who like yourselves have never seen my face and known me personally. And known personally, yes. Uh -huh. For my concern is that their hearts may be braced, comforted, yes. cheered and encouraged as they knit together in love. Yes, as they knit together in love. Uh -huh. That they may come to have all of their bounding wealth and blessings of a short conviction of understanding and that they may become progressively more intimately acquainted with and may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that mystic secret of God. They need to know that mystic secret of God. What is that mystic secret of God? What is that mystic secret of God? The Christ. The Christ. Christ. There are those who have Jesus. But I don't have the Christ. It means they believe in Jesus in the natural way. But they don't have the mystery, the Christ. Christ. 
Christ is the mystery of God. Christ so we need to fill up ourselves through the affliction of him. That's why it says, let everyone want to follow me. Take up this cross and follow me. Where I am, there you will be. Let's go. In him, all the treasures of wisdom. Listen, in him, all those treasures of wisdom. Go on. In him, all the treasures of wisdom, comprehensive insight. Yes. Into the ways and purposes of God. Into the ways and purposes of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And all the riches of spiritual knowledge. All the riches of what? Of spiritual knowledge. And enlightenment. And enlightenment. I stored up and lie hidden. I stop and lie hidden. Uh -huh. I say this. You see, they store up and lie, and, and you know, they are stored up in him. So the moment you are found in him, you found the completeness. Let's go. I say this in order that no one may mislead and delude you yes. by plausible and persuasive and attractive arguments and beguiling speech. You see, the moment people are given what you're talking about now, the fullness, Christ himself, nobody can deceive you. Nobody can deceive you. Do you love Jesus Christ? Nobody, Nobody can deceive you. It's because you discovered the Christ in the man. They will regard the one who was praying or teaching you. It matters. It matters. You get it? The way you regard the person preaching to you. The way you regard him matters. It's not only about receiving the gospel from a person. It's also about the way you regard him. The moment you discover Christ in him. You find completeness. Let's go. For though I'm away from you in body. Yet I'm with you in spirit. If I'm away from you in body, I'm with you in spirit. I spoke about this part. And most of you looked funny. Huh? I'm not with you. But you must see me in spirit. As the Christ. This is the part. Repeat, repeat. For though I'm away from you in body, I'm away from you in body. Uh -huh. Yet I'm with you in spirit. I'm with you in spirit. When I'm with you in spirit, your eyes must see my form. The form of Christ. Because I'm away from you in flesh. Do you understand this part? Come on, get the teachings of Paul. Listen. I'm away from you. In flesh. But in spirit, I'm with you. So if I'm away from you in flesh, you must see me everywhere. Jesus appeared to more than 500 people at the same time in many separate ways. In many separate ways. Do you understand this? In flesh, I'm not with you. But in spirit, I'm with you. How do you see me in spirit? What if you see a man of God in flesh? And when he's away, you see nothing. Means you're not with him in spirit. You're not with him. And it's easy for you to mock him. It's easy for you to mock. It's easy for you to scoff. Because you're not with him in spirit. Because you're not seeing him. Once you discover the Christ in him, 
When he's away with when he's, when he's away from you in flesh, you always see the Christ. Because this is a mystery from above. Let's go. For though I'm away from you in body, uh -huh. yet I'm with you in spirit. I'm with you in spirit. Uh -huh. Delighted at the sight of your standing shoulder to shoulder. Yes. In such orderly array and the firmness and the solid front. How can you see that they are firm? How can you see? Because he's away from them in flesh. Let's live for Jesus. We understand this. How can he? He's away from them in flesh. But he can see how they are together. How can you see that? Because it's now in spirit. It's now in, in spirit. Let's go. Delighted at the sight of your standing. Yes. Shoulder to shoulder. The, the way they're standing is shoulder so to shoulder. Uh -huh. In such orderly array. And the firmness and the solid front and steadfastness of your faith in yes. Christ. Uh -huh. That leaning of the entire human personality. On him in absolute trust and confidence in his power, wisdom, and goodness. You see, they trust in his power. Wisdom and goodness, the, fullness of the completeness of who? Of Christ. As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord. As you have therefore received you see, you see the way you put it? Huh? there are those who don't have Christ. They have Jesus. Because they see him in the flesh. And it's not in the spirit. Now, even if you receive Jesus, even the Christ, Christ. Even the Christ. Because there are those who receive Jesus. But the Christ was not discovered. Paul comes. Galatians 4, he never spoke about Jesus. Jesus. He said, you received me as an angel, even as Christ. Okay, someone needs to get this now. When I came to you, I came because of this ailment. Jesus. When I came to you, I, became, I came to you because of this illness. Jesus. Jesus. My sickness was a trial to you. When you received me, you received me as Christ. Jesus, Jesus was the one who was feeling pains when he was going to the cross. But Christ never felt any pain. Christ is the mystery Christ. Jesus would feel pain. Jesus would cry on the cross. But the Christ could not cry. Christ left Jesus on the cross. Because Jesus cried. My, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then he gave up the Christ. He gave up the ghost. The mystery left. Jesus was the one feeling pain. There are those with Jesus. But they can never have the Christ. Because it can be Jesus. Without the Christ. So he suffers. But you see angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. You will see the spirit. Spirit beings. That's why he talks about an angel. He must talk about Christ. Do we hear these people? Do we hear this? It must be Christ Jesus. Jesus is the one who was feeling pain. Who was saying let this cup pass. Not the Christ. Christ cannot speak like that. It was Jesus who spoke like that. But let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let it be done. So the Christ accompanied Jesus and said, I'm with you to the cross. 
and I'm coming with you to the cross. So when Christ is completely formed in us, we delight in this sickness. We delight in this trial. We delight in this pain. But when we are weak, when we are weak, when Jesus is weak, Christ is made perfect in you. The mysteries dwell in you. The mysteries become more. Christ becomes complete in you. Christ becomes complete. Listen, Jesus was Jesus. Jesus. Not the Christ before the age of 30. Before the age of 30, he was not the Christ. He could not heal the sick. He could not cast out demons. He could not walk on the waters. He was Jesus, son of Mary, son of Jesus. When he became the son of God at the age of 30, that's when the Christ came. The Christ left heaven like a dove and said, I'm going to Jesus. This is now my son. This is my son. He inherits my surname, the Christ. So the mystery left heaven and went upon Jesus. He was never the Christ before the age of age. He became the Christ after the age of age. He made it when he was baptized. Now this is my son. No longer the son of Mary, son of Joseph. He is my son. The surname of Mary, Joseph is born. He is the Christ. Now he will go through all these things in order for the father to be made perfect. Now I'm in my father and my father is in me. If you have seen me, you have seen the father. I and the father are one. So they could not see him. They could not see him. So as the father. They came to him. But they could not discover the father. Galatians 4, he preaches the gospel. Paul preaches the gospel. They discovered the Christ. They discovered the Father. I'm in my Father. And my Father is in me. I am my Father. Alone. If you have seen me, you have discovered the Father. You have discovered the mystery. So the way you regard me matters. The way you regard me matters. So through this affliction, Christ is made perfect in us. So there's something lacking. So every affliction is an opportunity to fill myself with the Christ, with the Christ. It's an opportunity to fill myself up. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Every trial it's an opportunity to fill yourself up with the mystery Christ. Repeat the part. You understand? No? Jesus, even the Christ. Repeat that. For though I'm away from you in body, yet I'm with you in spirit, delighted at the sight of your standing, shoulder to shoulder, in such orderly array yes. and the firmness and the solid front and steadfastness of your faith in Christ uh -huh. that leaning of the entire human personality on him in absolute trust and confidence in absolute trust and confidence uh -huh. in his power wisdom and goodness in his power wisdom and goodness as you have therefore received Christ. As you have therefore received Christ. You understand Galatians 4. When they were receiving Paul. They were receiving Christ. Huh? Huh? When they were receiving Paul. They were receiving Christ. So you are surprised. When they listen to other teachings. Which begin to isolate them. So anything that isolates is the law. You miss the Christ. You miss the Christ. Let's go. As you have therefore received Christ, yes. even Jesus the Lord. You see, as you have therefore received Christ, even, even Jesus the Lord. Are we going somewhere? Uh-huh. So walk Regulate your lives. Walk. 
Regulate your lives. Uh -huh. And conduct yourselves in union with yes, and conformity to him. Uh -huh. Have the roots of your being firmly and deeply planted in him. Yes, be planted in him. Be rooted in him.